Hey everyone, how are all how are y'all doing tonight? Um, <laughs> very excited, very excited because there's to all day today. I've been extremely, let's put it this way, I've been extremely focused on cryptocurrency, and it's so interesting because I do get a lot of comments and emails saying, "Come on, Drew, talk more about cryptocurrency and everything," and I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's it's very exciting because. Let me, let me read this article for you really quick. It's called Greece Could Soon Get 1,000 Bitcoin ATMs. How awesome is that? Bitcoin ATMs could spring up across Greece as soon as October as citizens and businesses become increasingly desperate to move their money despite capital controls. BTC Greece, which bills itself as the country's first Bitcoin exchange, plans to eventually install 1,000 ATMs nationwide in partnership with European Bitcoin platform Qubits. Uh, Thanos Marinos, the founder of BTC Greece, told CNBC on Wednesday that a soft launch was on the cards for October. It is part of my vision to create a blockchain ecosystem in Greece he told CNBC, if all goes as expected with no major issues, we will launch first ATMs October 2015. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency that can be used around the world. Transactions are listed in a shared public ledger called the blockchain. The digital currency has been touted as one way to circumvent Greek capital controls. These have been in place since June and limit domestic investors to withdraw to withdrawing no more than 60 euros or $66 per day from Greek banks, making life extremely tough for companies that need to pay or receive bills. Greek individuals and businesses are also forbidden from moving money to bank accounts abroad. Forbidden. Oh, give me a freaking break, right? We're a lot more powerful than that. The ATMs envisaged by Marinos could allow users to convert fiat currency into Bitcoin and potentially vice versa. As yet, BTC Greece has no ATMs in Greece. However, Marinos said he had already received requests from 300 shops for Bitcoin ATMs. We want to do it cautiously, he told CNBC, adding that BTC Greece would announce more partnerships next week. Bitcoin rallied in June amid reports that Greeks were flocking to the currency in order to circumvent the controls. However, the currency's decentralized nature makes it challenging to say how many Greeks currently use it. Bitcoin ATMs have already been installed in other countries, predominantly in the U.S. and Western European countries like the U.K., the Netherlands, and Spain. There has been a focus on Bitcoin and Greece and the eco economic instability there. Akif Khan, chief commercial officer at digital commerce company BitNet, told CNBC on Wednesday. So in one sense, it will be an interesting experiment to see if Greeks do gravitate towards Bitcoin as one of the tools in their financial toolkit to try and cope. But you can look more into this um, and read about it more. Um, I'll have all the link. I'll have the links uh, below. But I do want to mention, there was an article that I did read a long time ago. It was, uh, whew, I think it was about two years ago, when Greece uh, uh, went under, part of Greece went under, and uh, they completely went bankrupt because what happened was, you know, the, the banksters or whoever you want to call them, they pretty much took everyone's money, okay, ransacked their bank accounts. And um, the ones that actually stood tall that were able to weather the economic um, collapse were the ones that were uh, holding on to gold. And there was this one guy that was holding on to gold. He kept, he kept um, saving gold. And another guy that was saving bitcoins. When that happened, they were the only ones that were safe I think it was on Crete, the island Crete. And that was it. So we're starting to see this happen here in Mexico. It's very frightening. All I can say is I'm really grateful and glad that we're not keeping our money in um, Mexican banks. We have a, a bank, but we don't 
put that much money in there. We put like, you know, just a, not, not, a, not too much, just enough to live locally. But majority of our money is in gold money and now in Bitcoin. So because of the research and thanks to my uncle Yaro, who's running the uh, uh, SovereignWarriors.ning.com, he's actually been, <laughs> I call him my uncle because, you know, he's always looking after me. He's, he's a sweetheart. And he, um, he's always telling me, need to start investing in Bitcoin. Start putting your money in Bitcoin now, 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 now. And I'm like, okay, okay, I will, I will. But at first, it was very challenging at the time. It was like, God, how am I going to buy any Bitcoins? It's like such a pain in the butt. You know, um, I try to get it on Western, through Western Union or MoneyGram, and then they don't want you to do electronic transactions saying it was fraudulent. You know, I was trying to purchase some from the Philipp uh, a Filipino guy in the Philippines, and then they were like, nope, sorry, we're not going to allow that. I'm like, you know what, what? You're, you're going to tell me not to allow something with my own money that I make? What are you, what are you talking about, right? So I got really upset with that. And um, <clears throat> so, I mean, now... The beautiful thing is it's a lot easier to sign up for a Bitcoin uh, account that is trustworthy and actually uh, purchase from it. Like, first of all, you open up a Bitcoin account uh, or a cryptocurrency account, and you're able to move your money from through wire transfer, through your debit credit card uh, to purchase Bitcoin. OK, which I, su I suggest completely. It is very, very important. I think it is. Um, first of all, cryptocurrency is decentralized. It cannot be taxed. And I do get a lot of emails, uh, a lot of uh, emails and concerns about, oh, my gosh, you know, the, the IRS is after me and, and the taxes and all this. The reason why they're able to tax you is because you are using their money. You're using their Federal Reserve notes. So they have every right to tax you. And yes, they say, oh, it's voluntary. You know, you don't have to pay taxes. Well, according to the United States Constitution, it abides by that if you're using treasury notes, okay? But if you're using um, Federal Reserve notes, they can do pretty much anything they want with you. Um, if you purchase a house with Federal Reserve notes, that is their house, okay? Um, if you purchase a house with gold or silver or maybe Bitcoin, um, possibly that will be your house because you're no longer using their currency, you see. That is why they have all this control over you. And how funny, everything is charging with money. Like if you do something naughty and bad, they want to charge you with FRN notes, right? So I believe in my core and then also through the validations through through my my uh, through Yaro, okay, because he he's the one running the sovereign warriors .ning .com. He's extremely knowledgeable about secure credit, by the way. He's oh my gosh, he's beyond very knowledgeable, and I totally trust him. And for him to even agree with it, because at first I was thinking, oh, I don't know, this could be some, a big scam because they might get everybody into Bitcoin and, and cryptocurrency, and then all of a sudden they're going to do the whole, you know, NWA thing. Uh, not NWA. <laughs> NWO, sorry. Yeah, that was a cool rap group, by the way. I used to listen to them years ago. NWA, yeah. No, um, NWO. And... Yeah, you know, that they, they would, because that was my fear. I was like, yeah, you know, they're probably going to use this and try to hurt people and, you know, one world currency, how easy that is, right? And get getting everyone on board with that. So, you know, it kind of took me a while to really get into Bitcoin. You know, if you checked my website, it's I'm like off and on, off and on. But now I, I finally found a couple places that you can go ahead and check out and one of the places, and this is pretty much trustworthy, where you can actually purchase um, your, your uh, you can purchase Bitcoin. But they suggest when you do, make sure that you purchase from someone who has had several stars, okay? I think it's 200 stars or something. They have the, the more reviews, the better. Don't just purchase from anybody, okay? Um, but... According to Paxful, uh, Paxful.com, there's also a video if you want to Google it. Just look for Paxful.com on YouTube, and he will walk you through it, okay? So this is one area where, you know, say that you're like, oh, crap, you know, I don't, 
you know, I don't have PayPal. Like I, I have, I know people that do not have PayPal at all. And they've even asked me, oh, can you, can I pay you this way or that way? We used to take MoneyGram and um, Western Union, but we no longer do that. And you're thinking, well, that's the most secure way. You know, you take their money, you know, the money's taken, you're, it's yours. But <laughs> yeah, it's very secure. But unfortunately, the the peso here is going to crap, <laughs> okay? It's not good at all. We're actually concerned about this. Um, as I was saying earlier, the peso is like, okay, it's 20 over 20 pesos, 20.63 pesos to the dollar now. It's bad. So the money that we actually put into the bank, we got a quarter of that now. Okay. It's, it's pretty bad. I mean, it's good here in Mexico, you know, it, it, it's good here as long as you stay in Mexico. But once you leave Mexico and you want to go somewhere else, you want to leave, you know, go to, to the States or Europe, it, it don't mean nothing. It's, it's horrible. So, uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm spreading this out far and wide, what we're seeing with the currency. And I'm feeling that there is going to be a major collapse that's heading really soon. Um, this has been talked about for years, of course. But when you actually see Greece going through this, and now Spain, Europe, all of Europe, they're going through a lot of tension um, because of the euro, and, uh, and then now here's the UK, finally they're going to be leaving the, the UN, it can get pretty freaky. And the fact that, you know, they have put so much restrictions in banking, it's ridiculous, so much restrictions. Um, I remember my husband, he was opening up a, bank, a business account in England, and, you know, he's from England and everything, and the way that they treated him, it was so freaky. I mean, at least in the United States, they actually talk to you nice or they're like, they're all over you, you know, like, oh, you're going to open a business account. Oh, have a seat, have some coffee. You know, they're nice. Right. But, you know, at the end, they IRS stabs you in the back. Right. No. <laughs> but with, with uh, in England, it's like they really interrogate the living crap out of you. As, as, it sounded like he was being interrogated by a police officer <laughs> opening up a business account. And I'm just like, wow, this, this is very interesting, you know, or any, any account, doesn't matter business or personal. And, you know, they're getting really strict. You know, the, of course, you're dealing with their currency, their, their blood money. Okay, that, that's pretty much what it is. It's blood money. <laughs> and, and yet they don't want you to do money laundering and, and, you know, buying drugs with it. But yet they do it all the time, you know. And they move billions of dollars through that sucker. So, you know, the whole SWIFT thing. So now we're starting to find out just how popular it is to have Bitcoin, Litecoin, all different types of cryptocurrencies now. They're extremely popular. A lot of people are just saying, screw this crap. I no longer want to play with your FRN notes or your pound notes or whatever the hell that's ruled by the crown or ruled by whoever. And... Um, so the beautiful thing is, I feel that we, mani we manifested this, all of us together. This is a conscious thing that all of us have come together to find a way out of this prison, okay? This imprisonment, imprisonment. So anyway, Paxful is one good place that you can get started to just at least buy the Bitcoin. Um, I haven't used them yet, but... Yarrow has actually posted this. So, I mean, it's up to you. Do some more research with it. But I'm going to show you who I use. There's two places. Um, first is coins, coinbase.com. And what Bitcoin right now is at 732. It just, you know, comes up and down, up and down. But um, this is a very secure place to, to buy Bitcoin. And the cool thing is you open up a wallet you can buy and sell Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, I don't know too much about Ethereum. That's another digital currency. And it's real easy. It links it to your bank account. And you can just start moving your money that way. And you can also remain anonymous too. So it's very cool. It's very secure. I've been using them for about a year now. And I haven't had any issues. I mean, at first they're kind of slow though, because first they're like, okay, you know, first we're, we're going to have, we'll just have you move $25 in. 
if you're connected to a bank account, you know, uh, they have little limitations and it can take a little while. It could take probably up to a month. So the only thing about these guys are a little slow. Okay. But they are really, really secure. Now, the place that I like a lot that I've been having a lot of fun with is coinsbank.com. And coinsbank what you do, you open up an account with them. It takes like within a week, okay? And of course, they're going to ask you for certain particulars, your ID or uh, even a completely anonymous. You could be completely anonymous, but you, you're not, um, you will have some limitations. Um, but if you, you know, you let them know who you are or whatever, or if you have a business or corporation, you can even use them instead. Um, they're really good. I like them a lot. And the reason why I like them even more is the fact that they you also get a uh, MasterCard. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. Um, you also get a MasterCard. And look at that. Isn't that bitchin'? I have one of those. I have the white one. You can get the white card. Um, you can get a card that doesn't even have your name on it at all. You can be completely anonymous or see you get no name. Uh, cards for clients that prefers privacy and card operations. You can get the known name limited. These cards are available to all residents of any country, but the card's turnover is limited to 250 euro or 300 euro. I mean, USD. Uh, the name cards of this uh, will be issued personally and are only available to residents of non-restricted countries. These cards have lower fees and commissions than no name cards. So... I got the white card, name white, special cards with low commissions and no monthly fees for the card's lifetime. So that's what I picked. Um, you can get a virtual card. You can get a virtual prepaid card. It's really cool. I love them. They are awesome. And, and I tell them all the time, I'm like, you guys rock. <laughs> uh, you can have Bitcoin account and an LTC account um, and you're completely set. And if you want to start moving your money into this account, all you have to do is um, you can pay with your credit card, your debit card. Um, I think you can move your money uh, through through wire transfer. I haven't done that yet, but I've done the debit card thing and I was able to move money into this account. So I'm doing it now because of the money in Mexico is getting horrible. It's not good. So that's why we're doing it. And I'm like, whoa, I just cannot believe. I mean, it's good for the Americans because the dollars are, are very, very strong. Right now they are though. Right now they are. You know, the dollars are strong, but the petrodollar is very low. So that's, there's something wrong there. So I advise everybody to get on, on the ball and start using bit. Coin or any type of cryptocurrency that you can use, okay? It's extremely important um, because things are going to start getting pretty bad, I'm telling you right now. Here's an awesome video. They do cruises. Everybody comes together. It's Coins Bank Party video. I'm just going to share this with you all. Uh, here you go. Check this out. I don't think you can listen to it because I have my headphone on. But anyway, it, it's it's really awesome. I, go to coinsbank.com and then go to the party video and check it out yourself, okay? Um, it's huge. People are, you know, they're really getting heavy duty into this stuff and, and I'm loving it. Uh, also, I found out something really cool. It's called um, Keep Key. Something you need to learn about. And this is a simple Bitcoin hardware wallet that you can actually get in on Amazon.com or even on this website. And what it does, it takes everything, you know, it, it keeps your, your wallet, your Bitcoin wallet, you know, your Litecoin wallet, all that in a safe hard drive, okay, hardware wallet. So that way you can make sure that everything is private and no one comes in to try to steal your numbers where they can actually take all of your coins. And I got that today. So I'm definitely going to be checking this out. Um, I can't wait to get it. This is very, very exciting. And you can just put it in your safe and it's secure and you're always, you're always in control of your money on your own. 
That's the beautiful thing about it. You are always in control of your money. You don't have to look at your bank account hoping, oh my God, I hope they don't levy my account or lean it or none of that BS anymore. That's done. That's old school. Using banks is old school, guys. Start moving up a notch into the digital world of digital currency, okay? Um, another place that you can go to is gold money. Dot com. This is very good. Um, you actually are able to move money uh, and transfer it into gold, okay? Real gold, and it will be in a vault somewhere in Zurich, Toronto, Hong Kong, no matter what place you wish to pick, Singapore. Um, you can get personal, business, wealth. Uh, you can even do transaction, have business transactions through this um, gold money account. And they've been extremely good. And they also give you a gold money MasterCard. So I'm just sharing this with you. Other options and avenues that you can go through so that way, you know, you're not just tied to the American banks, you know, tied to the Mexican banks or any any bank where the currency is going to just start dropping. And believe me, when that's Canada, I heard about them too. Their currency is dropping. It's, it's horrible. Um, I don't know too much about it lately. Maybe there, it's doing a lot better, but I think it was like a, a last year it was really bad. So now Mexico is, is really not doing too good at all. It's like, wow, are you serious? I remember when... A thousand dollars was like ten thousand pesos. Okay, a thousand dollars is like double that in pesos. Yeah, it's good for the Americans. Come over, shop, whatever you got to do. But if you you're you're a Mexican, you have a Mexican account. You're putting your money. It's going to be very difficult for you to ever leave the country and do anything. <laughs> so, wouldn't it be awesome to actually have an account in gold, silver? or a digital currency where you're going to be good, not a problem. And a lot of places are taking uh, Bitcoin. I mean, even I think in the trains in Switzerland, they're doing that as well. Let's see, Switzerland trains Bitcoin. Swiss rail stations sell Bitcoins at ticket machines. So you can actually use Bitcoins now to get on the, the rail stations. Isn't that fascinating? And also, I think Cheapo Air, if I'm, if I'm sure, is also taking Bitcoin. So there's a lot of places that are waking up. They're realizing, whoa, man, you know what? Time to move away from the controlling bankers. It's time to move on. And that is why on, our, on my website now, I'm, I'm going to be taking Bitcoin only or gold money. Okay. And there's, there's, now you know the reason. Things are changing now. So um, right now... For this webinar, anyway, the webinar, the deadline is going to be on November 30th on midnight, which is tomorrow night, midnight. So if you want to sign up, you better sign up quick. Uh, seats are filling up fast. And this is going to be the last time that I'm going to be um, allowing anyone paying through PayPal, MoneyGram, Money Order, any of that. It's going to be through BitGold um, or Gold Money or a cryptocurrency. We prefer that, okay? Um, there's a lot of reasons why, and not only that, it's also going to protect your privacy. Every single time that you want to spend money uh, at all and not get taxed for it, it's also going to protect you, okay? So we prefer that. We prefer to go that route where, you know, the currency is decentralized and it is border... The, it, border friendly, I guess you can say. I mean, it's a, it's a world without borders and cryptocurrency is definitely it. Okay. So we're pretty, pretty excited about this. And I just wanted to share this with you because I do get a lot of people that are just like, oh, I have no idea. What is this stuff? Start researching now. Now is the best time because once that, the dollar after the, the dollar's going through a really, it's really strong at the moment. It's going through a major high once that's done, it's going to be major inflation and you want to protect yourself. So you want to protect yourself through tangible gold and silver 
or cryptocurrency. And so far, we're loving the cryptocurrency because it is very easy to transact, do transactions with, you know, instead of just sending gold and silver on over. Or you, can, if you want to do gold and silver transactions, you, you can go to goldmoney.com. So it's much easier. So I just wanted to share this with you all. I do some research on it. It's really going to help you out. And, uh, you know, don't take what I say, you know, don't just listen to what I say. Actually do the research yourself. Okay, guys. Well, y'all have a wonderful evening. I got to go take care of the kitties and get some cooking on. And uh, yeah, uh, definitely check this out. And those of you who are going to be signing up for the webinar tomorrow, cannot wait to meet you all. It's going to be exciting because there's a lot of information I cannot wait to share with you. It's just absolutely wonderful. And every student that has ever taken my my webinars have actually always had something great to say about it. Awesome to say about it. And if you want to know more about that, what my students have said about me and their experience with the webinar, uh, check out this video below. It says Halloween Spectacular. Listen to her students complimenting her on the webinar experience. So that way you get to hear firsthand how, my, how happy my students are and how much they really, really enjoyed uh, the quality of this uh, educational um, webinar, very, very valuable, very high quality. Some of them have even come as close to saying or even said to me, wow, it's amazing that you're even offering it for this price, like really cheap, because the type of information that I share is extremely expensive. And if you think $500 or $1,000 is expensive, you have no idea. Try going to some of these big time webinars that are going to do your package and they will charge anywhere from three to five to even $10,000, you know, they don't, they don't deal with little, little, um, you know, people that are just like, oh my God, you know, they, they don't deal with that. They deal with people that are serious because of the value of what you're going to be learning as a secure creditor. And I find cryptocurrency being an awesome, harmonious match to basically taking the bull by the horns and taking full reign, taking full responsibility of your path. It's awesome. Okay, guys, have a wonderful evening. Take care. Look into the stuff about cryptocurrency. Bye-bye.